Okay guys, we have our drawing here. I'm gonna go over the stock that I have kind of roughly set up to this point. I've just really taken it from raw stock to really rough dimensions using the dimensions from my drawing. So the first thing we did, is we made this template. This is a really great tool in making sure that all your hardware is gonna fit, making sure that you have the profile and dimensions you need. It's very helpful in your setup work. Um, Second, I've already done, I've, and if it's not clear here, I'm making two of these. So I have stock for two instruments here. I have a couple of rosewood fretboards. So we're gonna have some uh, engraving and inlay on these. That, uh, as you can see, we're gonna do the engraving and inlay in a Bigsby style here. Next, I have these pieces of mahogany. Um, These pieces are basically what balance out the veneer, the quarter inch veneer that I have in the top part. They are placed up in this section of the neck, glued to the main body blank. Um, these will be a quarter of an inch, but right now I have them at, you know, three tenths of an inch, a little bit bigger than I need them. I'm going to mill and thickness sand everything to dimension after the glue ups. So up next, I have these really nice pieces of flame maple. These are flame, they have some really nice figure. It's kind of hard to see in this state, but they're gonna look outstanding once they're finished. Um, these pieces will lay here um, somewhat like this. Um, we're gonna have to do that joint between these two pieces to get a nice crisp joint there. Um, but that's the flame maple. And then the last thing we have are these main body plates. These are, uh, solid mahogany. This is actually African mahogany, which is a material that I really like to build with. Um, again, the thickness is a little over what we needed to have, about a tenth of an inch oversize. Let's get that stuff set up and we'll do the main glue up here. Then we'll be ready to draw our outline, do our rough cut and get this thing on the machine. Okay, I've come up with a clamping arrangement that I think is gonna work here. I've got a lateral piece that will hold the stock through the middle because I have these thin pieces that I'm gluing on and a whole bunch of clamps. Unfortunately, this is one of the parts that's really always very hard to make um, like really um, interesting video of in that my hands are full, covered in glue and it's hard for me to really get in there and show you guys what's going on. So this is probably gonna be one of those speed ramps that you're probably very accustomed to on this channel. I have some rags here, some water. Um, I like to use one of these little dollar store uh, 
you know, baster deals um, to spread my glue. This just gets the glue really evenly spread. All you gotta do is wash it out after each use and it's good to go. And I've got my glue box, my glue. We're all set up here, so roll the speed ramp. Okay, we've used our drawing to build our stock material. We have drawn an outline and a center line using the template, and we rough cut that outline. Now these stock pieces are ready to be installed on the CNC machine and cut. We'll save that for next time. Um, we appreciate all the likes and the subscriptions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.